another one. So it's been pretty crazy these past couple weeks for me. I've uh, been feeling a little bit under the weather. Just last two weeks have been kind of kind of rough. Had a little bit of a cold. Been working quite a bit over the past couple of weeks, and uh, so I haven't really had a lot of time to do much exploring. The weather's been a lot like this, very cloudy and just kind of miserable for the last couple of days, and just kind of is how it is. It's not cold or anything like that though, so I guess I can't complain too much. It's like in the 60s and it's not so bad. So today I'm planning, I actually have the day off for the most part today, so I'm planning to do just to kind of explore a little bit and just go around and hang out. I'm feeling a little bit better, so. Uh, I'm going to try to do that and go go see what I can find. I have a little bit of an idea of where I want to go this afternoon. I've been wanting to do this since I've been back in New Orleans, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. look closely you can see in I mean pretty much the upper right hand corner of the screen here that there's a bunch of beads still in all the trees here I'm on st. Charles Avenue and this is obviously the parade route during during Mardi Gras season it's been a couple of weeks now but these beads will just stay there for like most of the year you can see right here on the left there's a bunch of them on that tree it, it's pretty cool it definitely it definitely looks pretty I definitely like it but it's just interesting I mean eventually the beads start to fade and then it just they just become like and I guess eventually they fall down or fall apart, or maybe someone goes and takes them down. I'm not really sure. If anybody knows, let me know. <laughs> but it's uh, it's pretty cool looking for now. So since I've been back, I've really been wanting to go and explore one of the uh, one of the old cemeteries here in New Orleans. I, I've actually I don't think I've ever actually done this. I think maybe once when I was in Lafayette, I went and explored a similar one. But they are very neat. For some of you guys who aren't familiar, obviously you can't really bury people underground here because they were below sea level, so <laughs> they have to bury everyone above ground. So it makes for really interesting and really beautiful cemeteries. And I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into this one over here on the left. This is one of the biggest ones in the city at the end of Canal Street here but I'm gonna try. So that was definitely a pretty peaceful experience. It's surprising because the cemetery is, I mean, it's really big, but it's surrounded by some of the busiest roads in the city and a highway on the other side over there. So, but you know, while you're in there walking around, it's incredibly peaceful. It's very quiet, uh, a little bit creepy as well, but definitely, uh, definitely a cool experience. I'm, I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I got the chance to do that. Hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.